right, so hopefully everybody can hear me over the weather that's going on out there, the lovely British summer. So today I want to have a talk to you about uh, Peugeot 208 GTI uh, on a 2013. You'll know most of that if you've actually read what it is you're about to watch. Um, so on here I have got some of the fault codes stored. Uh, however, I've been playing with this on and off. Uh, so this particular session didn't actually save the fault code that we were interested in but just in case you were interested there are some of the other fault codes that were in the vehicle uh, none of them in the ECU the fault code in the ECU was a P2074 pressure variation too high now this car is a 2013 so it's a little bit a little bit older now uh, it's getting up to 10 years old these if you don't know the Peugeot 208 is a joint venture engine uh, anybody who's worked on cars a lot will recognize the design of this and the design of this is basically um, it is a mini engine this is a BMW slash uh, Peugeot joint venture 200 horsepower that's what the 200 stands for uh, pressure is variation too high now there are a few things that this could be so basically the, the, the press of pressure variation too high code means that there is a difference between what the air mass meter is reading and what the pressure sensor in the intake manifold. Now to get to the pressure sensor you have to actually remove this air box. That's not it by the way, that is the intake air temperature sensor which is to do with the fan. Um, but yeah, it's actually in the intake manifold. Um, now let's discuss what I found with this one. So I checked the air mass meter, uh, you know, air mass versus throttle and both of them were scaling very evenly very nicely um, obviously it could be a map pressure problem map sensor problem this map sensor actually was on its way out it was struggling to read negative pressure it would sit at 980 millibars and wouldn't go any lower um, so if you put your foot down it, it wouldn't register drops in pressure but it was always vacuum because these are vacuum in the intake manifold under about 2000 rpm they don't actually produce that much boost but the sensor was slow so put a new sensor in and that actually gave me a, a much better graph for the sensor but didn't fix the problem um, now the other thing that that can be a problem with is the intake throttle body the thr throttle position sensors um, it can be a, a variation with that but if you look at the throttle position one and two and then you look at the uh, actual throttle position you can watch the three graph and two of them will follow each other perfectly and the other will be a perfect mirror image and that works on this engine so the next thing was to smoke the intake so what I did was I pulled this pipe off and first checked this pipe for cracks and leaks in there also check this hose here because it's rubber they can crack these suffer with heat soak to be honest that's why things break because they're all plastic plastic and heat don't mix very well these boots are also they've been prone for going for years uh, Peugeot have used them on all sorts especially the 1.6 HDI diesels they are prone for breaking uh, they crack with the stress of the engine moving around not a lot you can do about it just replace them um, but there was nothing visually wrong um, these are also for, prone by the way for this uh, turbo relief solenoid but generally you don't get any boost if that goes uh, the diaphragm breaks and then it, it leaks boost past it um, so I unplugged this from here and then put a smoker in here to smoke the intake um, and what I ended up with was a lot of smoke coming back through this hose and this and the crankcase breather so I blocked the crankcase breather off and I blocked this hose off and then what I actually found is this rocker cover is actually broken you can't really see it uh, but if I take you might be able to see some of it if I take a torch 
and stick this down the back of the engine. See the oil along there? Right there, there was smoke coming out. And if you actually start the engine and put your thumb over the crankcase breather, you can actually hear it sucking air from around the PCV valve just there. That means the rocker cover's damaged. So we need to replace the rocker cover uh, and then hopefully that will stop our intake reading the extra air that this is sucking in through here unbeknownst to the air mass meter. So yeah, quite a simple fix when you found the problem but that, you actually push down on it, you can feel it's, it, it, it moves. It's like it's cracked and pulled itself up out of the rocker cover. Um, not quite sure why it's done that, but 200 quid for a new rocker cover just to find out. So we'll get a rocker cover ordered and get it fixed up. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.